Tired of updating your MongoDB documents one by one? Here's the news, you don't have to. Hi, I'm Nick Raboy from MongoDB, and I'm gonna show you how to use the update many operator to bulk update your data and to do it with maximum performance. So let's dive in. So on my screen, you'll notice that I am connected to a MongoDB Atlas instance using the MongoDB shell. I've done a query against my employees collection and you'll notice that I have three results. We're gonna update some of these results based on the particular date stamp, last raise date. So we're gonna give certain people within this collection a raise based on a certain match criteria based on that date. So let's take the following operation, for example. We have our DB Inc database, our employees collection. We're gonna use that update many operator and we're going to provide it a query criteria, so a filter criteria. This particular criteria, we're gonna be looking based on the last raise date and we're gonna say any document that has a last raise date less than or equal to this particular date of 2024, January 1st. For any document that matches that, we're gonna do two different operations on those documents. We're gonna do a multiplication. So we're gonna say multiply the salary field by 1.06. So we're gonna do a 6% increase in salary for any of these matches. We're also going to set the last raise date because if we run it a second time, we don't wanna accidentally just keep giving these people raises. So we're gonna set the last raise date to the current date so that way we know that the update has taken place. So if I do another find operation against our collection, well, our data has changed. Two of the three employees in this particular example received a 6% increase in pay bump, so for their salary. So when you're working with the update many operator, you are working with filters on your data. And for that reason, it's a good idea to be using an index because you are searching through potentially millions, billions, trillions of documents in order to do that update operation. And if you're doing that without an index, there's a good chance it's gonna be slow. So if I ran the following command, so create index, and I wanted to create an index based on the last raise date because that's the filter criteria that we were using, I can go ahead and run it. It's now created an index we can run db.run command, which is essentially the same update operation we saw previously. The exception here, one, we're formatting a little differently. Two, we're asking for the explain plan for this particular ex execution. So if I run it and I scroll up, what we're looking for exactly is in the input stage. So the input stage says ix scan, which means we are using that index that we created. If we were not using the index, it would say call scan, in which case that it could be very slow. But because we're using IX scan, it is going to be the more performant option when it comes to updating many documents. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and then hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you on the next video.